will be a description of how to download the Quick Draw Weaving program from the quickdrawweaving.com website. I've got that open here. If I go straight to the free software line, you'll note it's going to tell me which current version is available. And as I open the program, the video instructions that are that show on the menu here are what you're looking at. The download version here, when I click that, it's going to open a window in the corner down here. And I'm going to click and open when done and then just wait for it to get finished. First message I'm going to see warns me that Windows doesn't know who I am. So I'm going to ask for more information. Since I'm trying to actually do software distribution on a hobbyist budget, I really haven't gone to the cost of telling Windows who I am and I'm a known publisher. Um, so I'm going to ask for go ahead and run anyway. So that'll start. Personally, if I were on a work machine, I would not download it. On a home machine, you can afford to play. Now it's going to ask me, do you really want to go ahead and do this? So I'm going to say yes. You know, QuickDraw uses the USB ports, but other than that, it really has no other interface to the outside world, so you should not have any problem with being rejected by viral, antiviral software. Once the self-extract window comes up, my first choice is where do I want to install it. The suggested location is the C Program Files x86 on a Windows 10 platform. If I hit the unzip, it'll start that. Let me wait a second. If I were running on an older version of Windows, it's probably the C Program Files directory. You can browse to wherever else you want to install it. QuickDraw is pretty forgiving on where it's actually operating. So I hit unzip. That takes a second and then we're done. At this point, if you were updating the version to something that was new on the website, uh, you're now done with the update. The process of setting up a shortcut and file association should not be a problem if you put it back in the same place it had been. So let me go back in and look at what that just downloaded. So I'm going to look at the C Windows program files x86 is where I asked to load scroll down if I look in the quick draw program files at the moment I have it, don't have anything set up so if I ask so if I ask for a little bit more information what I'd like to see is a date modified and a type so you can see what I'm doing here. So that lets me see those guys. Okay. So if I sort by type, the first thing I'm going to see, the Quick Draw Executable is a program that actually does all the work. I just did a right click, a right mouse click. And if I ask for a create shortcut, it will ask to put the shortcut on the desktop. So that's what I want to do here. So I can now get to Quick Draw from the outside world. Let me talk about the other files here just for a minute since you don't know who I am or what's here. Um, the Weaving Project Worksheet is the template that Quick Draw would export threading information to to allow you to figure out what project requirements are. And then the Butterfly Project is a sample project. All of the WAVE files here are the voice interface for Loom Help. And then all of the WIF files are sample files as well as there was another folder up at the top of the Chalice Bookmarker sample files. So that's really what's there. Now, let me, uh, just for sake of discussion, if I want to do a file association, I can go, that was a right mouse click, open with, and search for another app. Now, you'll note the box here on always use this app to open with files. If you have other programs you've paid more for, you may want to stay with those. If you want to go to with Quick Draw, you can click that button. Since I'm giving it away, I'm going to set that up. When I go to More Apps, 
keep scrolling down, look for another app. I can go to the C drive, the program x86, scrolling down, quick draw program files, open that, and when I hit that, that will associate the weaving files, all WIF files would now open with quick draw. When I open that now, if I go to the project setup screen, I can see at the bottom of that, here's the current version of quick draw, which is a version 402 in the moment. If I go back to the web page, I can see that that, is, that compares with the current version. If what's on the web is newer than what you have, you can repeat the process we just walked through. As soon as you see the zips completed, you're down, done with the updates. Now, the other thing I want to look for is what's on the, let's go look for the shortcut just to make sure we got that. So I can close a couple of things. And the shortcut is here, and for sake of discussion, I drag that up with my other weaving programs. And that gives me the installation and associations. Thank you. Bye now.